What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. We have one story today, a bunch of questions. So let's just dive into the tech news. This story is coming out of CES. It's uh, I'll link the full video down below if you want to watch it in its entirety. But I saw it on Sam Mobile and then they pulled it from somebody on YouTube. And it's a crazy concept display coming from Samsung. It's called their Samsung Flex Slidable and it's pretty wild and it's interesting and it's a look at the future of things to come. We've talked about sliding out phones and this shows it in its entirety. And when we look at this, the Flex Slidable, it is just pretty wild in terms of how it actually works and how smooth it looks. And it's gonna be complete wow factor for people that you do it in front of and people that just see it for the first time. Um, things that I think about when I see something like this though is like, you know, is it gonna be able to show more than just like menu type items or apps on the side? Will I be able to uh, have that be another part of the video display so I can watch an even bigger, larger video rather than just watching the video on one part and then have that smaller display just be like menu or apps types things over there? That's what I would be more curious about because for me, it's sometimes, you know, I do want that bigger, bigger display to watch my video, to play my game, to look at the website, to see my social media, rather than only having menu items on there. But I can see this being an interesting thing, another, another point for Samsung to sell us something interesting and get us onto that next frontier of phones and displays and potentially tablets. Like this has so many potential use cases. It looks amazing, like just what they have so far, is totally like, whoa, that was pretty crazy and super smooth and pretty awesome. So what do you guys think about that? You think it's a cool little uh, trick that they're going on with those flex displays that, that fold out, that slide out? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that beam. First question comes from New York's Finest. Do you get better deals from Samsung when a phone is first announced or when the phone has been out for a little while? The way I look at it, I mean, I don't know the exact analytics of that breakdown but when i see it the way it usually works at no matter when you buy it you generally kind of make out the same if you buy it in the beginning you don't get a discount on the price usually but you get really good trade-in offers and you get free gifts whereas maybe you buy it three months later you might not get as high trade-in values but maybe they've dropped the price a little bit and maybe they don't give you as many gifts, but they give you one gift. So it almost equates out to depending on what's really more important to you. Do you want a bigger trade in value and more gifts, or do you want a cheaper price and less gifts later on? It's, that's really what it equates out to. But at the end of the day, it's pretty much apples to apples. New York's Finest again, what does super clear lens mean on the S22 Ultra lens? Is that the same as the Pixel's face on blur? Is the rumor true the camera will have Gorilla Glass to reduce glare for better photos and video. So with super clear lens, at least what I think it means, is that you're gonna have really clear photos because of the 108 megapixel uh, camera. But also I think the zoom at 100X is completely, not completely, but definitely improved as well. So I think it's gonna be an overall rehaul sense of that word. Cat Lover Player says, I just got Android 12 One UI 4 update. How do you put the Google Android 12 clock on Samsung phones? Do you mean on the home screen? If you mean on the home screen, I don't think you can, or you might have to get a different launcher. I don't know of a way to do that. Um, I think that's what you mean. Do you mean like the Pixel camera? I mean the Pixel uh, clock on here. Let me just pull up my Pixel phone while I'm saying it, because you probably don't know what I'm talking about. Well, I, don't, I don't even have a clock on there. I don't know what you mean. Send me a screenshot on Twitter. I'm not sure what you mean. Bo Nose says, thoughts on uh, Fushia OS and what camera do you use to film videos? So obviously it's it's rolling out to more Google type devices, smart displays and things like that. I don't have a lot of opinions on it. So again, I can't really dive too much into it. Um, in terms of what camera I use. So currently I'm using a Panasonic GH5. That's usually what I use. I also have a Sony ZV-1 that I'll do a lot of top-down video filming with. And I also use a phone sometimes I use. Uh, like on my last trip here for Connecticut, the only camera I used filming uh, was my iPhone 13 Pro Max, but I'll sometimes switch between the Pixel or uh, my Galaxy S21 Ultra to film videos too if I'm doing top-down stuff or just mobile stuff, so it just depends. Last question comes from Tony, is that Olibus? Uh, do you know what the trade-in values will be towards the S22 Ultra? I'm looking to trade in my Z Fold 3. The way that I, they've done it in the past, usually the like, if it's not the 
the previous phone generation that you're trading it in for the newer one, they generally don't give you as good trading values. For instance, a Z Fold 3, if you traded that in for a Z Fold 4, you might get a thousand bucks. If you tried that Z Fold 3 in for an S22 Ultra, you might only get like 700 bucks. So just keep that in mind. I don't think you'll get as much as if you traded in for it as Z Fold 4. The other part of that is the highest trading value I would bet I don't know for sure, but I would bet it's probably gonna be 700 bucks, $800 at the very most, but I don't think anything more than that. Thanks for your questions. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question, and we'll see you down the road.